principle states that as the velocity of a fluid, such as a liquid or gas, increases, the amount of pressure in the fluid decreases as well. Or vice versa, when the velocity of a fluid decreases, the amount of pressure increases. Bernoulli's principle can be applied to compressible flows such as gases, and also incompressible flows such as a liquid. In the middle region of this picture, there is an area of lower pressure, therefore creating a greater velocity. On the left and right sides of this picture, there are areas of higher pressure which result in a lower velocity. When the water is turned on, it creates a flow of water with a velocity greater than that of the surrounding air. Since the water has a greater velocity, it must have a lower pressure than the surrounding air according to Bernoulli's principle. When the ball gets into close proximity of the water, it gets sucked into the water flow since it is the region of lower pressure. When the ball is placed in the airstream, it is placed in a region of lower pressure than the surrounding air since the hairdryer is creating an airstream of greater velocity. When the ball tries to leave the airstream, the greater pressure in the surrounding air will push it back into the stream. This is what allows the ball to be moved either way without falling down. When the funnel is placed over the hair dryer, it creates a greater airspeed around the ball than an airspeed above the funnel. This then means that around the ball inside the funnel, the air pressure is lower than it is above the funnel. Because of this reduced pressure, the ball is being pushed back into the hair dryer. When the hair dryer is turned upside down, the lower pressure in the funnel then applies an upward force, preventing the ball from falling down. Airplanes also follow Bernoulli's principle to perform the process of taking off. The wing of an airplane is designed specifically so that the air can move faster over the top of the wing, which would then result in a decreased pressure. Since the air is not moving as fast below the wing as it is above the wing, pressure then increases below the wing. This then means that the pressure above the wing is less than that of the pressure below the wing, which is what causes lift. 